Yep, yeah, pretty welcome back to Unstable TV. So you guys have sent us in another reaction in our reactions playlist. But before we get into this, if this is your first time on the channel, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss anything. And if you're back with us again, thanks. So what has everyone sent us in today, Danielle? So today, James, a couple of people asked us to check this out, especially after India's moon landing this year. So this is eight upcoming space missions by the ISRO in India. What is India up to in space? Let's find out. What are you guys up to, India? Ooh. Let's watch this together. <laughs> Let's go. Futuristic. Oh, the buzz. What is the subsequent space mission planned by India following its successful moon landing? This video focuses on examining the eighth forthcoming space missions to be conducted by the Indian Space Research Organization in the near future. At number one, the Aditya L1. Aditya L1 is a launched. pornography spacecraft being constructed and built by the Indian Space Scientific Organization and other Indian scientific organizations to explore the solar environment. Ooh. It will be placed in a halo orbit around the L1 point between Earth and the Sun to research the solar atmosphere, solar magnetic storms, and their impact on the Earth's environment. The primary scientific goals are coronal heating, solar wind acceleration, coronal magnetometry, the origin and monitoring of near-UV solar radiation, and the continuous observation of the photosphere, chromosphere, and corona, as well as solar energetic particles and the sun's magnetic field. It is the first Indian mission dedicated to observing the sun, and it is scheduled to launch on September 2, 2023, aboard a PSLV-XL launch vehicle. Number 2. The ExpoSat or later. The X-ray polarimeter satellite, or ExpoSat, is a space telescope that will be used to study how X-rays in space are polarized. Ooh, it will be cool. sent into space by a polar satellite launch vehicle with a mission life of at least five years in 2023 Wait, or later. When you look at how radiation is split, you can find out where it comes from, how strong and where its magnetic fields are and what other oh, radiation is that. around it. Exposet will study the 50 brightest known sources in the sky. These include pulsars, black hole X-ray binaries, active Ooh, galactic nuclei, and non-thermal supernova remnants. The telescope will be put in a 500 to 700 kilometer low Earth orbit. Number 3. The Gaganyan Gaganyan is an Indian orbital spaceship that will have a crew on board. It is meant to be the first spacecraft in the Indian human spaceflight program. The spacecraft is being built to hold three people, and a later version will be able to dock and meet up with other ships. In its first journey with people on board, the Indian Space Research Organization 5.3 metric tons capsule will orbit the Earth at 400 km altitude for up to seven days with a crew of two or three. As per reliable sources, the Gaganyan spacecraft test will likely take place in the late 2023. The first crew flight was supposed to take off in December 2021, but now it won't happen until at least 2025. Where, where? At number 4, NISAR. The NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, or NISAR mission, is a joint project between NASA and ISRO to build and launch a dual-frequency synthetic aperture radar on an Earth imaging satellite. The satellite will be the first one to use two different bands for radar imaging. It will be used for remote sensing, which is a way to watch and learn about how things work on Earth. For example, the devices on its left side will study the Antarctic ice cap. At an Ooh, estimated really cool. total cost of $1.5 billion, Nisar is said to be the most expensive Earth imaging satellite in the world. At number 5, the the Venus Orbiter mission, also known Ooh, as Shukrayan, is a Venus. planned mission to research you don't Venus's too much surface about Venus. and atmosphere. Funds were released in 2017 to finish early studies, and instrument tenders were published. Depending on its final form, the orbiter might carry up to 100 kilograms of science payload and have 500 watts of usable power. 
The initial elliptical orbit and Venus is projected to have a periapsis distance of 500 km and an apopsis distance of 60,000 km. At number 6, the Mars Orbiter Mission 2. Mars Orbiter Mission 2 is the Indian Space Research Organization's projected second mission to Mars. The Vikram Sarabhai Space Center director hinted at the possibility of a landing in an October 2019 taped video, but the ISRO chairman emphasized in a February 2021 interview with the Times of India that the mission will consist simply of an orbiter. The orbiter will utilize aerobraking to reduce its initial apopsis and enter more observable orbit. This mission will be launched by India in 2024. A hyperspectral camera, a high-resolution panchromatic camera, and a radar will be used to study early Martian crust, recent basalt, and boulder falls. Number 7. Chandrayaan-4 the Lunar Polar Exploration Mission, also known as Chandrayaan-4, is a collaborative lunar mission proposed by India's Space Research Organization and Japan's Aerospace Exploration Agency. The mission would deploy an unmanned lunar lander and rover to the moon's south pole no later than 2026. Japan is expected to supply the underdevelopment H-3 launch vehicle and rover, while India will supply the lander. The mission is expected to be launched between 2026 and 2028. At number 8, the Astrosat-2 Astrosat-2 is India's second dedicated multi-wavelength space telescope planned by the Indian Space Research Organization as the successor to the current Astrosat-1 observatory, which will be operational for five years, finishing in 2020. ISRO issued an announcement of opportunity in February 2018, seeking submissions from Indian scientists for concepts and the construction of astronomy and astrophysics instrumentation. The year of release is yet to be determined. With this, the buzz has come to the end of today's video. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for more videos from the buzz. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye. That was really cool. A lot to look forward to from India. India, once again, trying to take over space. <laughs> I suppose America has been doing it for the longest and Russia, so India may as well take a cracker. Absolutely. And it looks like India and Japan are teaming up as well, so who knows what's going to happen? Of course, a very big shout out to the original content, ugh, content creators. Do make sure you check them out, give them a like, subscribe, and share and all that good YouTube stuff. And a very big shout out to you guys for sending this one over. What did you think of that, Danielle? Yeah, I am excited to see what's going on with Venus. We don't really hear too many people, or too many people, too many, <laughs> too people. many space agencies going to Venus. So that'll be really interesting to see what they're going to find out. And what's going on in Venus? All we hear about is Mars and going to the moon. It's about time we start hearing more stuff about scanning black holes, radiation, yep. and Venus. Mm -hmm. Of course, Venus, we can't forget about. I'm um, your Venus. What are you most excited about in this? Venus and them black holes. Yeah. I want to know about them black holes mm -hmm. because Stephen Hawking has been lying about them. That's if true. anyone keeps up with that. Yeah, everyone's going to come at us in the comment section now. He did say he lied about it. Anyway, that's a different video. Yeah, the the one that's looking over Earth will be really, really good as well. Um, the, oh, what did I say, the Antarctica? It will scan the Antarctica and the polar ice caps. Yeah, that'll be really good to see, because that's going to give us a lot more information about what's going on on the planet. And hopefully there's not too many diseases that come from that when the ice melts. Here's hoping, but humans cannot control the planet because the planet has a mind of its own. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the sun one is really cool as well. Yeah, I hope they like harness the sun's energy and don't sell it back to us, you know, give it for free that's not gonna happen um but it will be cool to see what information i gather from that to see you know the sun's flares and how it actually affects the earth well we know how it affects it but you know get more information on it that's important so of course do let us know in the comments down below out of these projects which one is your guys favorite and what are you guys most looking forward to to see from all these projects and what space missions have we missed that is really really important information that we need to know let us know down in the comments. That's been our two cents. And we will chop ourselves out. Choo.